I want to find supplementary angles when we have variables involved. Okay, it's a very common problem that people seem to have a problem with, so let's go ahead and check it out. Alright, so the first thing we have to do is we have to find the measures of the angles which are generally given, like in this problem. So we have angle 1, which is equal to 18x plus 3. Okay, this is equal to that. And we have angle 2, which is given as 41x. Okay, so once we know that these two things here, we can go ahead and set up our problem. Okay, recall that um, they are giving us that these two angles are supplementary. So what that means is that if we add them up, they will equal 180 degrees. So now we can go to the next step, which is to set them equal to 180 degrees. Alright, so that's basically the definition of supplementary angles. We take the two and we set them equal to 180 because that is the definition. Alright, so here I substituted. So angle 1, recall, was 18x plus 3, so that's what I put here. Okay, and then angle 2 is 41x, so that's what I put here. Alright, and make sure you add them. Okay. Then the next step is simply to solve for x. Okay. Alright, so in this step I combine like terms, so I combine the 18x and 41x and get 59x. Okay, then I subtracted 3 from both sides, 177 equals 59x and divide both sides by 59 and you get x equal to 3. Okay, now depending upon your teacher or your book you might have to go one step further and take the 3 and substitute it back into here to find the original angles. Okay, alright, for example if I was to take this 3 and substitute it back in angle 2 okay, that would give me 123 degrees for this angle here. Okay. Once you get that, if that's 123, okay, you can either do one of two things. You can subtract that 123 from 180, right? That would give you 57, so that means this would be 57 degrees. Or what you could do is you could, um, you could substitute the 3 back into here and get it as well. Okay, so if you do that, that would be 3, right? 3 times 18. Okay, that would be... 54, right? And then 54 plus 3 is 57. So either way is fine. Whatever you like. Alright. And that completes our problem.